Good day, YouTubers. Time for a spot of royal tea. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay, it's been almost a week, and uh, Charles and Camilla and Will and Kate have still not met Archie, uh, baby Archie. So Charles here is looking like, I don't know, it's just fun body language. He's looking like, who, me? <laughs> he's, he's got his lips pursed, kind of the eyebrows raised in the believe me look. Uh, they're both kind of just looking away and, you know, he's looking down. And she's just kind of looking away. Hmm. Hmm. It's all so very suspicious. Let's read. <clears throat> the real reason Prince William, Kate Middleton, Prince William and Kate Middleton and Charles and Camilla have not met Archie yet. It's been almost a week since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry welcomed their son, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, into the world. Harrison, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, but some key members of their family still have yet to meet their bundle of joy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have introduced their son to the Queen to Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, a custom that is required by tradition before they could also introduce him to the world. But when it comes to his grandfather, Prince they did that out of order. Prince Charles and step grandmother Camilla, as well as Uncle William and Kate and cousins, the new royal baby has not been seen. Uh, however, according to Express UK, while Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla have yet to meet Archie, they, they haven't met Archie because they've been on a visit to Germany since the day he was born. I just It's unclear why William and Kate, who have been carrying about, have been carrying about royal duties in both London and Wales, have not yet met their nephew. They're just avoiding him. Uh, while the royal couple, couple is likely keeping to their schedule of appointments and giving the new parents time to adjust to the new baby, the lack of visits with baby Archie could spark up more rumors of a feud. Yeah, it's the feud. <clears throat> no, it's not. Though they haven't yet met Archie, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge did express excitement over his birth during an event in Greenwich, Green, Greenwich earlier this week, spelled Greenwich. Obviously thrilled, uh, absolutely thrilled, and obviously, this is a quote, and obviously looking forward to seeing them in the next few days when things have quietened down, Prince William said at the time. I'm very pleased and glad to welcome my brother into the sleep deprivation society that is parenting. I wish him all the best, and I hope in the next few days they can settle down and enjoy having a newborn in their family and the joys that come with that. Okay, Kate added, we're looking forward to meeting him. These next few weeks are always a bit daunting the first time around, so we wish them all the best. Okay. This is just more strangeness added to the brew. Uh, and I do real I do note that uh, Archie was I, Archie was introduced. I think Archie was introduced be, to the public before, or the the uh, doll facsimile was introduced to the public before the Queen and Philip visited. So, are they avoiding? meeting with baby Archie because of all the weird hullabaloo and likely problems with the surrogate. What are Charles's and Camilla's feelings about meeting this baby? What are William's and Kate's feelings about meeting this baby? Hmm. And what is the queen feeling about this baby? Let's just do them all. Let's do them all in a big line here. Charles and Camilla, Will and Kate, and the Queen. Charles and Camilla. Will 
Will and Kate. Oh dear. And the Queen. Okay. Wow. All right. Write this down. Okay, so we've got Charles and Camilla, Broken Chalice, Broken Relationship, Big Change, and Cornucopia, everything. Ten, three diamonds. Trinity. Trinity is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, people working together in perfect harmony and for the same purposes. Not working together. Everything, everything is broken. And there's been a big change. Everything is broken. There's been a big change. And Charles and Camilla just feel like Harry and Meghan are not working. What they're doing is just not... It's not in keeping with tradition and the royal family and promoting and helping and moving the royal family into the 21st century. They and there's no hearts, none, no hearts, no feelings. They just like they don't feel they don't want to be a part of it. Okay, what's going on with Will and Kate? Okay, well, Angel, here's the baby, hamster wheel, very heavy. This is the work card, nine uh, clubs, high tower. This is official, official work visit to see the baby, 21. Plus 9, 30, which is 8 diamonds, cornucopia, and everything. So they, okay, again, the only heart is the baby. Okay, they do, the baby is a little angel. You can't hate on the baby. Can't hate on baby Archie. Uh, whether you like the name, whether you like the way that Megan and Kate, Megan and Harry are handling this. This is just, this is work. This is an official visit. This is an official state visit to see the baby. Okay. They feel like, Charles and Camilla feel like they're working against the royal family. And there's, and, and a big change is coming. Uh, and this is just an official state visit. They don't have any feelings. Uh, and they just know they need to make an appearance. And so they're stalling. What is the queen What's the queen's thoughts on this? Well, she's got the no card, full stop, home, family, heart. She's got the best feelings cards. Interesting, because the, the queen always shows as very long-term planning. She often shows a snake and fox and king of spades and king of diamonds. She's very, very uh, long-term planning, really uses her head. So here she's showing the best family cards. This is family in the middle. No family. No love. No love for the family. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Five and nine. Fourteen. Four diamonds. Okay. So two four structure cards. Fours are structure on which the family and everything is built. This a full stop to the family and the structure and the heart. She wants what's best for them. She wants what's best for the the people closest to her and the royal family. But there's a big no there. Let's ask about this no. Because it could mean several things. No is a full stop. What is this no about? Incubus Succubus, Four Spades, wow, now we're talking, okay, and this adds, this adds four diamonds, okay, and four diamonds is on the bottom. Again, another four, what's the no about? Let me write that down. Incubus Succubus, 
coffin fox. Coffin is often secrets, keeping it in the box. Six spades, bad relationship. Ten and twelve, twenty-two, six diamonds, all the people. Secrets kept from all the people in a bad relationship. And clever, very clever dealings. Okay, so it's all a ruse. Okay, the fox moves the pieces around. The fox will deceive you. This no for the queen, she knows, knows, that that they're deceiving all the people. They're deceiving all the people, uh, Harry and Meghan are. And it's going to, it's, this is bad. So, no, no love. She has very negative feelings about this. She's very concerned that this is going to go really bad. Okay. Uh, okay, here's one. Is this the royal baby? So the queen, is this the real baby? Or is this still the silicon doll? Okay, they don't have the, uh, they just don't have possession of Archie. You know, they're still in negotiations and, and the surrogate's not going to give up Archie until she, you know, it's uh, it's a kidnapping. It's a hostage, well, I'm going to get kicked back on that. But it's she's going to hold on to the baby, uh, the real baby, Archie, until she gets what she wants, until she gets the money, until she gets a written agreement, until she gets a settlement, until she gets paid. Okay, so when the queen, we just saw the queen and Philip, not her husband, but her brother Philip, um, go and see the baby and there was a big smiling picture and they very carefully controlled that. So is this the real baby or is it still a silicon doll? Real baby or a silicon doll? Okay, so city, we have the whole world, eight hearts, water into wine is a deception card, deceiving the whole world, four clubs very opportunistically, again, we're getting a lot of fours, okay, this is all about the queen, queen gets four, 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 and this is how I, how I view the queen as well, the queen really thinks about what's really going on, you're not going to trick her. Uh, and so she's getting all these fours. Everything is fours, which is structure. What's really going on? Jacob's ladder goes all the way to heaven, comes all the way down to earth, step by step by step. Step by st every step of the way, they're deceiving the whole world opportunistically. Twelve and five, seventeen, five hearts, two f uh, two fives, two eights. Eights are everything, fives are change. Okay, so step by step in everything, reacting, changing and reacting to everything opportunistically. Basically, <clears throat> uh, Meghan and Harry were forced to, to reveal Archie. They just couldn't wait any longer. There's, there's people outside the palace, you know, celebrating the birth of Archie. Uh, they, and it's just cruel. They had to show a baby. They don't have the baby in their possession. Uh, it's in the possession of the surrogate, and this is a this is a deception to the whole world, and it just go it's step by step by step, and that's also the hamster wheel here. Uh, the it's it's pure work, and the deception is just piling up and piling up. Everybody knows, okay? The queen knows that's not a real baby. That's not a real baby. Okay, they don't have possession of the actual baby. They just have the baby doll. And they're trying, they need to get possession of this, the actual baby so they can start showing the baby off. And if it looks any different than the baby doll, which it probably will, but they tried to get the closest look of, of Archie that they could, um, they'll probably have to stall again. Okay. What is the fear of scandal here? Because I'm kind of looking for that. This is a lot of fear of scandal. How bad is the scandal fear? Is it level one or is it DEFCON 10? 
Like, oh my God, you're going to... Megan and Megan and Harry are about to sink our entire battleship. This will be the end of the royal family, and they're you know that's it. Uh, what's the scandal fear? Is it level one or DEFCON ten? Because they're all so linked together, and that's just the truth. Fear of scandal. We got a ten spades. Okay, so is, a, is the scandal fear, is it 1 or 10? DEFCON 10. And I actually use those words. Here's a 10. 10 is the 10 is completion. 10 is the worst result. DEFCON 10 is absolutely h highest alert. You know, where are the nuclear codes? Okay, 9 and 10, 19, which is... Five clubs, crossroads. Here's another five. A couple of fives showing up here, a couple of eights. Here's a five. You can go this way or you can go that way on the crossroads. They're not sure how it's going to go. If it goes this way, this is the end, man. This is the end. Just get some beer and, you know, and, and just sit there on your couch because this is the end. Okay, lovers, star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem, they followed the, the wise men, the magi, followed the star of Bethlehem to the manger in Bethlehem to see Jesus. So this is a direction card. The close relationship, the lovers, the baby. Okay, so mommy and child, this baby, this direction could lead to absolute disaster for all of them. Trinity is everyone working together for the same purposes. So this could be an absolute disaster for the entire royal family, for everything that they do. This baby, this beautiful, joyous event. And it's all just, it just started because uh, Megan surely can't have a child and they wanted to use a surrogate. And if they just said, oh, well, Megan can't have a child, we're going to use a surrogate and just be upfront about it, then none of this can happen. Okay, this is an honesty is the best policy lesson. Were the royal advisors advising uh, Megan on these actions? Or are they just like letting Megan and Harry, letting Megan in particular, because Harry wasn't hanging himself. I mean, he does stupid stuff, but he's Harry and we love him. Uh, this is much, much more calculated. Nobody's laughing. Nobody's going to be laughing now or later. Okay, so were the royal advisors advising them? Or is this like, let them burn? I mean, because they're burning the whole... They, this has the potential to burn the whole family. The royal advisors advising them, or... I mean, how does this even happen? All right. <clears throat> Mother Earth Cross Crossroads... Karmic relationship. Cross is the permanent relationship, karmic relationship. Very solid. Very solid. Okay, and karmic relationship has uh, a bunch of people on it. This is a whole bunch of people. This can be your whole family. This can be all the kids you grew up with. People you have a long, solid relationship. Cross is all sevens return endlessly, permanently. This is the Sevens are permanent return cards, and cross is the most solid. Okay, so working the very solid relationships, the mother to make decisions. Twelve and twelve, six spades, another six. Incubus, succubus, and karmic relationship. Bad, rela bad selfish decisions. So here's Megan, the mother in the permanent relationship, making decisions. So they let Megan lead. She gets all the advice. Okay, so this is how rulership works. Uh, Megan does get all the advice, but she is making the decisions. 
The mother is making mother making the decisions. Okay, so they're not going to she they're doing it by rank. Okay, Megan makes her decisions for herself. Harry makes his decisions for himself. You can you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Uh, Charles makes his decisions for himself. William and Kate make their decisions for themselves. The Queen makes her decisions. Now, see the Queen; she's very clever, very wise, and but. And she has all these advisors, and people want to say, oh, it's because the queen has so many advisors. Yes, the queen does have the really excellent advisors, and she's got Christopher Guide on her side, and she just brought him back in. But the queen makes the decision. The queen is the monarch. She makes the decision. Megan, Megan's in charge of Megan's stuff, and Megan's used to being in charge of Megan's stuff, and they advise and advise and advise her, but Megan still ultimately makes the decision, for better or for worse, and Megan is making terrible decisions, just terrible. These are terrible, terrible, terrible decisions, and I think she thinks she's going to get away with it, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Is Megan intentionally trying to... I mean, she obviously flaunts all royal protocol. She never does anything the way she's supposed to do it. And she seems really kind of impudent and, you know, sticking her tongue out at the family. Is Meghan trying to turn the royal family upside down? Is she trying to harm the royal family? Because a lot of people say this, but it's just going so badly. I just, we can ask anything. Let's ask. Is Meghan trying to turn the royal family upside down. Is she doing this on purpose? Okay, or is she just like, oops, I did it again, I'm Britney Spears, and I just can't win for losing. Okay, is Megan trying to turn the family, the royal family, upside down. Roses, very sweet, very public. Ruler, the king, the crown, two diamonds, committed. Committed to the crown and the beauty of England, 18, 13 and 5, 18, five diamonds, Jacob's ladder, son. Okay, son is, son exposes everything. Okay, so is she trying to do it? No. She is... Actually, this is very solid, committed to, to a making everything beautiful, committed to making everything beautiful for the crown uh, and stardom and world famous stardom step by step. So she's not trying to do this. She's just screwing up. This is just screw up after screw up after screw up. Despite the best advice of the advisors, she still makes the decision. Uh, they're terrified that that this could completely destroy the royal family. All right, let's let's go over it. Let's review. Let's review. Okay, so Charles and Camilla, Will and Kate, and the Queen. Why haven't they? The Queen has seen the the doll baby. Why haven't they come to visit the doll baby? You know. Uh, pretending to be Archie yet. Well, this is this is ruining everything. Charles is like, you're ruining everything. You're changing everything. You're ruining, you're destroying, you're ruining everything. Everything. This adds three dimes. You're ruining everything. We don't, they literally don't want to see because that's photographic evidence of them when it's revealed that this baby is 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 not real that it's just a baby doll and they're all oogling and ogling over it and the whole world is going to say what do you mean you didn't know it was fake of course you knew it was fake it's just a baby doll and it's harder to tell if you take the pictures the right way and you limit who's in the room and they know this they don't want to be a part of it okay megan uh kate and william this is oh this the burden of this all the stuff with this child and they they know they have to visit it's just an official state visit and they literally don't want to do it oh this is well that's 38 diamonds and again everything 
the everything about this is just so messed up okay the queen it was hard for me to read this line this can say no love no she doesn't want them in the family no love no family no togetherness or it could mean she is committed to the family and wants the best for them but this is just so messed up so i threw three more cards keeping the secrets in a box being very clever and the bad relationship among all the people this no is the queen is very 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 concerned that these secrets will get out of the box she's beyond concerned she's like what a terrible situation but they're just keeping the face on okay so does the queen know this is a not a real baby doll this is deceiving the whole world opportunistically step by step so she knows this is not of course she knows this is not a real baby and she's smiling at a baby doll pretending it's a real baby how scared of the how terrified are they that this scandal will erupt and destroy them one defcon you know level one terror or defcon 10 it's defcon 10 this is terrible this has this baby and what and the direction that they're traveling and all this deception and the decisions they're making five clubs uh can destroy the entire royal family they're absolutely terrified and they just want nothing to do with this they literally don't want to show up and and be photographed with that baby because later if they don't get that photograph they can then say well you know we didn't they can deny they have plausible deniability as long as they stay away are the royal advisors advising megan and harry yes they are but megan still makes all the choices and these are her terrible choices and they're turning out terrible 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 is megan intentionally trying to turn the royal family upside down because people are saying she's a globalist plant but the nobody's more globalist than the royals they are globalists but they're a monarchy and they specifically represent england which is very sovereign and going through brexit um so is she intentionally trying to turn the royal family upside down no there's no evidence of this she's actually doing her best and screwing everything up uh, and it couldn't be going any worse she's doing her best but it couldn't be going anything any worse that's your royalty today <clears throat> that's how i see it i'm joseph magi author of playing card divination fortune telling the magi method Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.